Ever wonder why you feel a knot in your stomach when you do something that goes against your beliefs or values? That unsettling feeling, my friends, is what psychologists refer to as cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance, a concept first proposed by social psychologist Leon Festinger in the late 1950s, is the mental discomfort experienced by a person who holds two or more contradictory beliefs, values, or perceptions. It's akin to standing at a crossroads, torn between two paths that lead in opposite directions. The discomfort intensifies the more important the subject is to us, and the greater the conflict between our beliefs. Imagine you're a dedicated environmentalist who finds themselves in a situation where they have to fly frequently for work. That internal struggle, that conflict between your belief in preserving the environment and the necessity of air travel, is a prime example of cognitive dissonance. But cognitive dissonance isn't just about personal beliefs and values. It can also arise from actions that contradict our self-image. Think of a person who sees themselves as honest, yet finds themselves lying to protect a friend. That clash between action and self-perception is another form of cognitive dissonance, which can lead to a great deal of psychological discomfort. So, how do we deal with cognitive dissonance? Well, we humans have a remarkable capacity for mental gymnastics. To alleviate the discomfort, we might change our beliefs or actions, seek out information that supports our beliefs, or minimize the importance of the conflict. In the case of the frequent flying environmentalist, they might choose to offset their carbon footprint, convince themselves that their work is important enough to justify the environmental impact or downplay the effect of air travel on climate change. Each of these strategies serves to reduce the cognitive dissonance and restore a sense of internal consistency. In summary, cognitive dissonance is a powerful force that can shape our beliefs, actions and perceptions. It's the psychological discomfort we feel when our actions, beliefs, or values clash. And it's a key driver behind our efforts to maintain a consistent self-image and worldview. Remember, cognitive dissonance isn't inherently bad. It can be a catalyst for change, pushing us to reevaluate our beliefs and actions, and ultimately leading to personal growth and development. So the next time you feel that internal tug of war, Take a moment to recognize it for what it is, a sign that you're grappling with cognitive dissonance. And who knows, it might just be the push you need to chart a new path forward.